Hi, my name is Becca. I'm Jake. And we're going to show you how to change a mag tube. Uh, the tools we're going to use today are a 3 16 inch teat handle, a 9 16 open end wrench, a 5 8 inch open end wrench, a 3 8 inch open end wrench, an 8 inch crescent wrench, two pinch off pliers, and a 4 millimeter Allen wrench. Hello, it's Becca and Jake again, and now we're going to show you how to put a mag tube back in. First thing you want to do is check the socket, make sure there's no gaskets left over, no foreign objects in there. 
After you make sure that's clear, you want to go ahead and pull the mag tube carefully out of the packaging container, making sure not to touch any of the ceramic parts. And you want to make sure that the gasket is in place around the bottom of the mag tube and carefully set it into the socket. Okay, next thing that Jake is going to do is to replace the upper pull piece on top of the mag tube carefully. Once that is back in place, he's going to be using the 3 16 inch T handle and the 9 16 inch open end wrench. First, he's going to use the T handle and tighten the six socket head screws in, in a star pattern um, to make sure he's got an even seal all around the mag tube. Now he's replacing the washers and the nuts all around. And then he's going to go through and tighten them all. The one thing you want to do is make sure that the gap all the way around is even the same on all sides of it. Okay, next thing is we're going to replace the lower and upper filament connectors onto the mag tube. Um, you want to make sure that when you put these on there that they are flat, they're not cockeyed at all, crooked or anything. Um, and you do want to make sure that you do tighten them very tight. And once you get both pieces on there, uh, make sure to replace the air tube onto the upper filament connector to make sure that you have proper cooling to the mag tube.